the smallest product. <laughs> and there's three of them in here, believe it or not. This is the Wise Climate Sensors. Now, if you're getting into smart technology, a smart home, I've got one, I've got all sorts of cool stuff. I wanna give you guys a tour one of these days. You're gonna want eventually a climate sensor. And there's a variety of use cases for this. I can tell you how I wanna use it because that to me is important. I would like to use this in a couple places. We have a new Mr. Cool heat pump system and it's, it is pretty cool. We've got one in here and they've got different head units and the multi-zone one likes to overheat rooms because it uses a very, very simplistic thermostat in the unit. So I have to set it to heat sometimes just to get it to think that it's not overheating the room. And what it then does is it overheats the room because it, it doesn't have a way to, to turn itself off when it reaches the temperature in that mode. So sometimes I'll, I'll set it in, I'll come down to my studio because I wanted it to get warm and it'll be like 85 in here <laughs> with all the computers already. That's not a good thing. So this is how it comes. Now I did get another one of those stickers. We're two for two today, guys, on the Wise Backer stickers. And this is the one thing I like about setting up Wise products. If you've never used their products before, it's super easy. You hit the plus icon here. You can say, what do you want? I want to add a device. It's a sensor. It's a wise climate sensor. Now to do this, and we're going to see because my home hub is on the entire other side of my house. So I'm hoping that this climate sensor is going to initially reach all the way over there. I don't know if that's going to work on it, but we're going to try that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use my sense hub you don't have to have service to use this. So if you don't want to have the monitoring service, you do need the hub, which is pretty affordable. And then you need to buy these. And this a three pack is $29.98 right now. So I did remove the tab, press and hold the reset button until the light flashes. So that's the reset button here. I'm pressing and holding. And then the bottom light flashes. So it blinked three times and that was it. So I'm hoping that that's enough that it will connect up to my hub, which is on the other side of my house. Uh, I don't have a huge house, but it is totally on the other side of the house. It's saying connecting could take a minute. I'm just going to set it up over here in this corner. And you know what? It did it. <laughs> so that's awesome. So it was able to detect this completely on the other side of my house. I got a lot of EMF and Wi-Fi and stuff in this room. This runs on a 900 megahertz custom channel. Cigar aficionados unite. One of the cool things that I want to do with this one, my cigar collection is quite minimal right now. I got one and it's already in glass right here. So it's not necessarily going to be a humid thing. But the cool thing about that is it's a climate and humidity sensor. What do we want to call the cigar box? I guess let's, let's call them cigars. Cigar box. We'll do that. Share maybe later clean the sensor 64 that's this guy now the humidity should go up saying 63 percent humidity this thing as a humidity sensor also has a memory in it so it, it should be able to track that now i'm hoping that that humidity of 63 is going to go up um, i just loaded that thing up earlier here is the information day week so it's going to have all the temperature and humidity and events it has the ability to do alerts which is really cool again rules notifications that i have device sharing all that kind of stuff send notifications temperature falls below 32 so if my cigars are freezing i don't want them getting too cold now let's talk about humidity uh, my understanding from the cigar aficionados is that it's 65 to 73 so let's go ahead and put this at 50. now if you get humidity that's too high Let's go at about 80. You could start to get the sticks too wet and then they won't do well. So that's the range there. Now it's already humidity is going up uh, 3% there. So you can see my cigar box. Let's go back out and see what else we got in here. Automatically, I get my two climate sensors right up top. So I got my cigar box and I got my studio sensor. So that's probably the tiniest <laughs> wise product. We're just checking back in on these climate sensors that I had. Hey, my cigar box, 63 degrees, 74% humidity. That's my, got my wise sensor over here, my climate sensor in my cigar box. That looks pretty cool. Very neat on there on the cigar box. So that's probably the tiniest wise product. <laughs>